Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. I'm gonna work some practice problems for wave calculations where we're going from wavelength, frequency, and energy using the speed of light. If you're in my class, these are from our packet. They're the ones that I thought might give you the most trouble. If you're not from my class, this is still gonna be very helpful. You just might consider writing down the question. And as always, when you're doing practice problems with me, you need to be doing them with me. Get a calculator. Get something to write with, do the problems, let the problem come up, pause the video, work the problem, work until you get stuck, work it all the way, and then follow me through it, see how you did. Okay, go gather those things I mentioned, and let's get started. Which would have the longer wavelength? Light with a frequency of 4.5 times 10 to the 14 hertz, or 6.19 times 10 to the 14, that's supposed to say hertz. This does not need math. This just needs the relationships. We're relating wavelength with frequency. Remember, they have an inverse relationship. So it's asking what's going to have the longer wavelength. So if we want a big wavelength, we would need the smallest frequency. The first thing, since both of these numbers are in scientific notation, the first thing we need to notice is that the exponents are the same. If the exponents are the same like these are, now we can compare the number in front of the x. And 6.19 is larger than 4.5, and we're looking for the smaller one. So 4.5 is the best answer. 4.5 times 10 to the 14 hertz is going to have the longer wavelength of light. Now y'all, I asked this exact same question and I left the numbers the same, but this time I made the exponents different. It's the same question. Since we're looking for the longest wavelength, we're looking for the smallest frequency, but the exponents are different. When the exponents are different, that's as far as you have to look. What exponent is larger? This one, the 14. So it would be 4.5 times 10 to the 14. Let's do another problem. Here's another one where math is not needed. Which has a higher energy? When lambda is 674 nanometers or when lambda is 480 nanometers? Now first we need to remember that lambda means wavelength. Lambda means wavelength. So we're relating wavelength and energy. And let's just remember real quick. Energy and frequency have a direct relationship. Frequency and wavelength have an inverse relationship. Therefore, energy and wavelength also inverse. So if we're looking for the higher energy, we're going to be looking for the lowest lambda wavelength, 480 nanometers. Let's do another problem. Here's one where we're gonna need math. What is the frequency of a wave with a wavelength of 5.4 times 10 to the negative five centimeters? I always like to start with my formula. The speed of light is equal to the wavelength times the frequency, where the speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Again, if you're not in my class, your teacher might give you a different number with different amount of sig figs. I also see it given as three times 10 to the eight, just round it up. I like to go ahead and use those extra decimal places. Okay, so I like to go back and read my problem. What is the frequency? Frequency, I don't know. The wavelength, lambda, 5.4 times 10 to the negative five centimeters. Okay, so I've got, I've got the speed of light. That's a given number. I have lambda, so I'm ready to solve for frequency. But there is a problem. Let me point this out. The speed of light's measured at unit meters per second. That means frequency has to be per second or hertz, same thing, but wavelength has to be meters and we have centimeters. If you have absolutely no idea how to convert from centimeters to meters, check this video out that I'm linking above. That'll help you with metric conversions. I am going to work it. I'm just not going to take a lot of extra time explaining things. Okay, so I need to go from meter to centimeter. Great, mighty King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk under nice pretty flowers. Zero, one, two, three, six, nine, twelve. One, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. 
and I need to go to the base unit. So before I can even start working my problem, I need to convert 5.4 times 10 to the negative 5 centimeters into meters. I write my given, make my cross, bring my given unit down, put what I'm going to up top. Meters is the biggest, it gets the 1. Centi is a 2. Remember, that's an exponent, 1 times 10 to the 2. I put that in my calculator using my exponent key, and if you don't know what that is, check that video out that just popped up. So I'm typing in 5.4, pushing the second button using that exponent key. So now I've got a little tiny E. I've got 5.4 with a little squatty E. That just means exponent, so I'm going to type in negative 5. No times, no 10, just 5.4 E, negative 5. Now the next number is on bottom, so I'm going to divide 1 exponent 2 equals. My calculator is in scientific notation. It's given me 5.4 times 10 to the negative 7, and that is in meters because my centimeters cancel out. Now I have a usable number for the wavelength, meters. I'm going to rearrange my formula to say frequency equals, since right now it says speed of light equals, and I'm really wanting it to say frequency equals. I'm going to rewrite it over here and work in this space. Speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. So right now, frequency is being multiplied by wavelength. So to get wavelength away, I need to divide. Okay, so now I've got frequency equals speed of light divided by the wavelength. So now I'm just gonna enter those numbers in to the right spots. On top, I've got speed of light 2.998 times 10 to the eight meters per second divided by 5.4 times 10 to the negative seven meters. That's gonna equal frequency. So frequency equals Typing this into my calculator, 2.998, second exponent, 8, divided by 5.4, second exponent, negative 7. Y'all, if you have an iPhone, you can just turn it on its side and you'll find that exponent key. It's not a second function, but it's two capital E's side by side. The exponent key, two capital E's side by side. I think it's close to the equal sign. I don't remember. Again, my calculator is in scientific notation, but this number's got so many exponents that I bet your calculator forced it into scientific notation. Plus, we're using scientific notation, y'all. We need to talk about sig figs. When you're thinking about sig figs, you just look at your given number. You're not going to use the speed of light. You're going to use the number given. This number has two sig figs, so we want to represent two sig figs in our answer. So when I round, that gives me 5.6 times 10 to the 14, and I was solving for frequency, so we can say hertz, that's totally appropriate, but let's notice this meter and this meter cancels out. That leaves this fraction with nothing on top of seconds. Remember, that's per second. Again, you can use hertz, same thing. Let's work another problem. What is the energy of a 933 nanometer wave? So we're looking for energy, and the formula for energy is Planck's constant times frequency, where Planck's constant is a given number. Let's just go ahead and write that down. H equals 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. So we're solving for energy. We have Planck's constant. But y'all, are you noticing? I need frequency, and I'm given wavelength. Nanometers. Meters, that's a length. This is wavelength. I'm gonna go ahead and write it down. Wavelength, 933 nanometers. We are going to need a second formula. We need the speed of light equals wavelength times frequency, where we know the speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the eight meters per second. Now there's two different ways to think about this. I think most people are gonna work it the way that I'm gonna work it. But I do have one more problem, and I'll show you the second way there. We need frequency, and we have enough to find frequency here because we have wavelength. We have wavelength right here. We have wavelength, the speed of light. We can solve for frequency. Then we can take that frequency once we solve for it and put it into energy's formula. Okay, let's do that. This time though, when I'm working this problem, I'm gonna insert the numbers and then rearrange. You can decide which way you like the best. So C, 2.998 times 10 to the eight meters per second, 
equals the wavelength. Oh, y'all, the wavelength. It's in nanometers. Nanometers. It has to be in meters. The great, mighty King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk under nice, pretty flowers. Zero, one, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Y'all, I'm just going to label the bottom half because we're going from nano to meters. So I'm just not going to number the rest. Hope that's all right. 933 nanometers. Make my cross, bring my given unit down. Nanometers, nanometers. And I've got to go to meters. My base unit is the biggest, so it gets a one. Nine is with nano. One times 10 to the nine. Put that in my calculator. 933 divided by one exponent key nine equals 9.33 times 10 to the negative seven meters. So I'm going to put that in my problem. 9.33 times 10 to the negative seven meters. And I'm solving for frequency and I'm going to put an X there. X. I need to get X by itself. And X is being multiplied by 9.33 times 10 to the negative seven. So to get rid of it, I'm going to have to divide. Divided by 9.33 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. That's going to get rid of that. So my frequency, let me put that in my calculator. 2.998 exponent key 8 divided by 9.33 exponent key negative 7 equals frequency equals. I'm going to need three sig figs, three sig figs right here. Frequency equals 3.21 times 10 to the 14. Again, my meters cancel out. That leaves me with per seconds or hertz. Now I have frequency. Now I can put my frequency into this problem. And I have this number into this problem. Energy equals H. H is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. I need to multiply that by 3 times I'm so sorry, 3.21 times 10 to the 14. Oh, per seconds, per seconds. Energy equals 6.626 exponent key, negative 34 times 3.21 exponent key, 14 equals, again, three sig figs, and I'm getting 2.13 times 10 to the negative. 19. My seconds are going to cancel and I just get joules, which is the energy unit. So I'm glad I ended with the unit that I was supposed to get. I have one more problem. One more. It's another one that's got the energy and wavelength situation happening. What is the wavelength of a 1.528 times 10 to the negative 13 joule wave. So again, I've got that problem, energy and wavelength. They're in two separate formulas. I'm going to write both of those formulas down. I'm going to show you a different way. You might prefer this way. You might prefer the way on the previous problem. Y'all do whichever one makes you feel the most comfortable. So we've got the speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. We've also got energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. Now in this specific problem, we need to know about the wavelength. So we need wavelength equals. So we need this to be our main formula right here. This one right here needs to be our main formula. So we need to rearrange this one and then pop it into this one. And the one variable that they have in common, frequency. So we need to solve this formula for frequency. Right now, frequency is being multiplied by Planck's constant. So if I divide by Planck's constant, I'm going to get frequency equals energy divided by Planck's constant. Now I can just put that in frequency spot. C, speed of light, equals wavelength times energy divided by Planck's constant. Now my formula at least has all of the variables that I want. You could input your numbers here, or you can go ahead and continue out the algebra to make sure this formula says wavelength equals. Let's just go ahead and do that. So if we want this formula to say wavelength equals, we've got to get the energy away and we've got to get the Planck's constant away. 
we need to get both of these things away. Let's start with what's on bottom first. So if it's on bottom, that means it's being divided. So remember, you just do the opposite math to get it onto the other side. If it's being divided, we need to multiply. Energy is being multiplied, so we need to divide it. We've got wavelength equals Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by energy. Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. I'm given the energy. Energy equals 1.528 times 10 to the negative 13 joules. Okay, we're ready to go, finally. Wavelength equals, I've got Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. I'm going to multiply that by the speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We're going to divide that by the energy, 1.528 times 10 to the negative 13 joules. I'm going to look at my units right quick. Joules cancel, seconds cancel. We're going to be left with meters, and we're looking for wavelength, so that's perfect. Let's put this in the calculator. Planck's constant, 6.626, exponent key, negative 34, times the speed of light, 2.998, exponent key, 8, divided by 1.528, exponent key, negative 13, equals, I need 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs. 1.300 times 10 to the negative 12 meters. I hope that helped. I hope it helped whether you were struggling, whether you were reviewing, whether you were learning. I hope it helped. Until next time, bye y'all.